NAZ Today Sierra Ferguson joins us now with a World War II Army veteran story. Sierra, we're so used to hearing about World War II from textbooks and media. What is it like to sit down with a real hero and hear his story? Well, I'll tell you, Emily, it's a really incredible experience. For a lot of Americans, D-Day is something that we associate with a lot of fiction. I think of footage from Saving Private Ryan, for example, but I got the opportunity to meet a man whose memories from Omaha Beach are all too real. And this is me when I was 70 years, 70 years ago. Well, the war, uh, Japan uh, invaded, I mean, bombed uh, Hawaii in 41. Well, immediately in 42, I was called. And we, we got to the beach, in Omaha Beach, in the afternoon. We heard this rumble, this rumble, you know, and I wonder what this noise is, I wonder what this noise is. So pretty soon, in nothing but a place. You could you could see the sky for as many planes coming across. The ground started shaking. <laughs> we started crying. <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, something, something, really something. Nothing for hours. Nothing but airplanes. It's such an honor to have people um, come up to not only my father but Vietnam veterans. Um, Korean War veterans and tell them thank you. It's just amazing how much we as a society have turned around to actually thank the heroes that every day give us our freedoms to be able to sit here. My father is more of a hero than I ever realized in this whole scheme of the war and what his, and what his service meant and where he was and the danger that he was in. And I was not afraid to die. I was not afraid to die. You know what I was afraid of? To chicken out. Because I didn't want to bark. I didn't want to destroy or whatever, whatever little respect we had as immigrants. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of immigrants. At that time, there were immigrants from all over the world. When they went in there, I bet they felt the same way I did. I was born in the United States. And before I went to the service, everywhere I went, I was a Mexican. And I felt like a Mexican because everybody, I mean, there's a boy who was here, okay. When I come back from this war, I said, no matter who says I'm not American, I'll fight for it. Well, meeting people like Mr. Vega really makes you appreciate and re-examine what it means to be an American. I mean, he was just a really incredible character. He got to go to Sinatra shows while he was in the service. He met the 101st Airborne. I mean, he talked about how the servicemen built railroads and pipelines here in the United States before they were deployed. I mean, he was just a really incredible character and an American hero. He sounds fascinating. He really does. I'm actually kind of jealous of the opportunity that you had to speak with him. That was a really great experience. Mm -hmm. yeah, stories like that really make you appreciate your freedom. Definitely. We'll have more after this break. <laughs> 